three and two with the power five yesterday. I'll take it. Now an outstanding 48, 28 and three run on the show the last two plus weeks. Today, I've got four free Major League Baseball winners for you, plus a play on Ravens Chiefs. Yes, the NFL regular season kicks off on Thursday. Go ahead, smash that like button if you're excited about that. Let me know who you're betting on in that Ravens-Chiefs matchup. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on my selections here on the Power 5. Let's start it off with a couple early ones in MLB. Up first is a play on the Twins' first five run line. Should be around plus 105 to lay the half run here. What happened to Minnesota last night? Well, they got shelled. Uh, giving up an eight-run fourth inning, to be precise. All eight of those runs were charged to Louis Varland, who had just been recalled from AAA. Should be noted, though, while they ended up losing the game 9-4, Twins actually finished with more hits than the Rays last night. For tonight, pardon me, for this afternoon, I should say, Yes, uh, Minnesota has a clear edge in starting pitching with Pablo Lopez going against Taj Bradley. Lopez, over his last three starts, has allowed zero runs in 20 and uh, two-thirds innings. That's right, a 20 and two-third inning scoreless streak. Meanwhile, Bradley, whoo, posted a 10.41 ERA in the month of August. That's not good, obviously. So look for the Twins to be ahead after five innings in this one as they look to earn a series split, unlike last night. No question marks on the mound for the road team. Number two, another day game I want to look at is Astros-Reds. A lot of betters are going to want to take the Astros today because the Astros are looking to avoid a sweep. I am here to tell you, do not do that. I've cashed the Reds as underdogs each of the first two games of the series right here on the Power 5. Yes, Hunter Brown has been very good for the Strohs this season. We've cashed him a couple times. But let's talk about Rhett Louder, who's starting for Cincy today. Louder was the second pitcher taken in last year's draft after Paul Skeens, obviously, and he's going to be the real deal. Made his big league debut last Friday. That game, ended up, that game ended up not going very well for the Reds, but Louder allowed just one run on two hits in his four innings of work. It won't be as easy as last night for Cincy when they exploded for nine runs in the first inning. They even had a double steal mixed in there, but we're going to look for the Reds to improve to 9-0 and versus the Astros since 2019. Seven of those previous eight wins have come as underdogs. I'm looking to make it a perfect three for three with the Reds in this series. All right, before we get to the nighttime selection, should mention not only am I killing it here on the Power 5, but it was a 2-0 sweep with my premium selections last night at wagertalk.com. Cashed the Marlins as underdogs. It took 10 innings, so it was a sweat, but we got that one home. It was a lot easier with the over 7.5 in Tigers-Padres. That bet cashed by the fourth inning. Guys, I'm now back up to 67% overall uh, the last 12 days. A 14-7-1 record with all selections. In just a little bit, I'll be letting you know how you can get the next three days of my premium picks for just $49. All right, back to the Power 5, though. Number three, Nationals Pirates under 8.5. Speaking of the Nationals, faded them yesterday, and there wasn't much offense to speak of. Just five hits from the game. Uh, they were honestly fortunate to get that game into extras. They scored all three runs in the top of the eighth, largely thanks to three walks by the Marlins bullpen. So not buying there's going to be a ton of offense from the Nats tonight as they head to PNC Park. Remember what I've talked about the last couple days, guys. Washington, second to last in home runs hit this season, dead last in home runs hit on the road. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh, they're second to last in WRC Plus against righties this season, ahead of only whom? The White Sox. Uh, they're facing Jake Irvin, a righty, obviously. Pirates sending out old Bailey Falter. Yes, both starters have struggled a bit recently, but given the numbers I just laid out for these two lineups, I think both starters pitch better than expected tonight. So under eight and a half, it is. Just can't trust either of those two lineups. Number four, Texas, first five run line. This should be around minus 110 to lay the half run in the first five. Another big starting ed pitch pitching edge uh, on the Thursday slate. Cody Bradford, he goes for the Rangers. Showed elite command to this point. Four consecutive quality starts. Five straight starts with three or fewer runs allowed. Meanwhile, I don't trust Jack Ahanowicz, who's been up and down between the big leagues and the minors this season for the Angels. Also think it's a bit of a letdown spot for the Halos. They had a big home win over the Dodgers last night. Conversely, Texas playing its third consecutive series at home, so no travel between series for them. They've taken two of three 
from both the A's and Yankees coming into tonight. Opposing teams average just 3.77 runs per game in Arlington this season. That's fourth fewest in the big leagues. Should be a nice start to this game for the Rangers, who I predict will be leading after five innings. First five run line, always a nice way to cut down the juice. Uh, you want to cut down on a price? Well, we've got a great special offer for you at wagertalk.com. I've been talking about it uh, for the last couple days. Thursday night NFL play still to come. But before we get to that, I want to remind you, right now at wagertalk.com, you can get a three-day all-access pass for just $49. And you can choose as many different handicappers as you'd like uh, for $49. Not just me. And we're giving you the freedom to choose when you want your three-day all-access to start. So if you want to wait until tomorrow so that you get Saturday college football and Sunday NFL, go ahead. A reminder, I'm now on a 22-10 and 10 college football run going back to last season. All three of my totals to start this season have cashed by double digits. Last year in the NFL, I swept the first Sunday card of the season going 3-0. Just go to wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage of this incredible three-day offer. Again, just $49 for three full days of winning selections. That is an instant $20 savings. All right. NFL game tonight. We're going under 47, Ravens Chiefs. I think there's going to be a slow start to this game. After all, it is the season opener. Uh, will the Ravens focus on the run, I think, is the big question. They shockingly did not do that in the AFC Championship game last January, which I thought was a pretty stupid approach. Uh, truth be told, Todd Monken, the OC for Baltimore, only handed the ball off to running back six times in that AFC Championship game. Of course, that ends up being a 17-10 loss as four-and-a-half-point favorites uh, at home to Patrick Mahomes and company. The Chiefs win that game. They go on to win uh, back-to-back Super Bowls. Derrick Henry now in the fold for Baltimore. Hopefully, for the Ravens' sake, they're going to run the ball more with him. Uh, this time against the Chiefs, that should help us by keeping the clock moving. Now, the Chiefs' offense, we need to talk about them last year. They posted the fewest number of yards and points per games in the Mahomes era last season. I am not expecting any kind of offensive explosion in Week 1 from them either. Baltimore did lose D.C. Mike McDonald, who's now the head coach in Seattle. Uh, but the Ravens were number one in the league against the pass last season. I don't think there's going to be too big of a drop-off. I just don't see a lot of big plays in this one, gang. You've got offensive line issues for both teams as well. Also, a referee trend we're going to give you here. Games involving tonight's lead ref, Sean Hockley, 36-27-2 and two to the under since 2020. So under 47 it is for me in the NFL kickoff on Thursday between the Ravens and Chiefs. Let's now recap the Power 5, shall we? Twins, first five, run line. Should be around plus 105 against the Rays. Reds as underdogs at home against the Astros. Number three, Nationals Pirates under eight and a half. Number four, Texas, first five run line. Should be around minus 110 to lay the half run against the Angels. And then in the NFL... Under 47, Ravens, Chiefs. You can let me know, again, what you think of those comments or what you think of those selections, pardon me, by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, go ahead, smash that like button. Always appreciate your support here on the Power 5. And remember to go over to wt.buzz slash bp for all my premium selections. Again, it was a 2-0 sweep there last night. I expect to have something in the NFL game, my top play, not just the full game under I gave you moments ago. I'm going to have, uh, I believe, something even uh, better for you again at wt.buzz slash bp. So check that out. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Of course, not only do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the morning wager. Mark Zeno and I, every Monday through Friday, what a hoot that program is. And that is going to do it for the Thursday edition of the Power 5. NFL's back, guys. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.